Hey there quilting friends, it's Carolina Moore, your favorite sewing and quilting YouTuber, and today we're doing clue number two in the Cotton Cuts Mystery Quilt, So Sweet. There is still room to join this block of the month that's not a normal block of the month. Each month you get pre-cut pieces and a clue for putting together a portion of the quilt. It's not necessarily a full block. And in month 10, you get the final clue that puts all the previous nine clues together to make a full quilt. It's a mystery quilt. We don't know what it's going to look like until we get that 10th clue and put it all together. But we have fun sewing in the meantime, and they're pre-cut pieces. So usually it takes me somewhere between 15 and 25 minutes to put together one of these clues. So it's a nice little fun sewing break. Super meditative because, again, no cutting, just piecing and ironing, piecing and ironing, and then we're good. So, you ready to start month two or clue two for the So Sweet Cotton Cuts Mystery Quilt? Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open my package, and I have my, my key. I'm doing the bear claw colorway. There are multiple different colorways in this block of the month or this uh well it's a block of the month but in this puzzle mystery quilt there are different colorways and this one is bear claw which is all art gallery fabrics of course so let's see i have fabric a and i grab my alpha bitties this is c this is more a b D. Oh, there's a lot of A in this one. Oh. Okay. So it's A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. So now we just need our pattern and we can start sewing this up. So here's the pattern for the small quilt and regardless of what colorway you're doing the pattern is exactly the same which is why it's all lettered and it's not color coded because different colorways will look a little different depending on the fabrics. So I have all my pieces and I'm going to do 2A and 2 of 2B. So this is 2A, 2B, it's clue 2. So we'll have four units when we're done. Okay, so sections 2A and 2B, you'll be making two each section 2A and 2B. The instructions below tell you how to make both units of both sections at the same time. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to sew a small A to a C, and I'm going to make four of them. So these are my A triangles, and I have four. Let me grab my C triangles. I have four. Perfect. And so I'm going to stitch these half square triangles together. So now all of these are getting pressed towards the A, which is the red. There we go, I'm gonna stack all these up into a nice big identical stack of four. And then I have my A squares, but they need to go this way. So if we look, the C square is touching the A just like I have here, the C square is touching the A. So I'm gonna stitch all four of these. And now each one of these is actually going to get pressed towards the triangle unit, which is uncommon. Usually we press away from the triangle unit, but when they give pressing instructions, I know that the designer had a plan in mind and especially with a mystery quilt like this, where I don't know what the finished quilt is going to look like, I follow along with what the designer is telling me to do because they know they have all the secrets. We're making these little bow tie shaped blocks. And these seams should nest beautifully. So we'll go ahead and stitch these. And these are getting pressed 
down. We're gonna set these two aside for a second. And I'm taking these E squares, let's see, and the A squares. Excuse me, these aren't squares, they're triangles. So I have two E squares, and I need to grab two of these A, two E triangles and two A triangles, there we go. And I'm going to make two larger half square triangles with these. And both of these are getting pressed towards the A, which is the red. It's this really pretty orangey brick red. And with the A's like this, and these blocks like this, we're gonna combine these two. And these are getting pressed towards the large half square triangle. And now I have these A strips that are getting stitched to the top. And then with these, we are pressing towards those A strips. Okay, so now we're setting these aside again. I'm gonna put them over here. And now I have these BF pieces. So I'm gonna grab my F and my B, and it says I need eight of them. So I have two, four, six, eight of these and two, four, six, eight of these. So I'm going to sew those together. So all these are getting pressed towards the F, which is the yellow. And all of these are getting turned into four patches. So as soon as I finish pressing these, I will go ahead and stitch up the four patches. So all of these are getting pressed down. And now I have my A's and my D's and I need four of these and I do, I have four of each. I'm going to stitch these together to make some more large half square triangles. These are getting pressed towards the D, which is the floral. D is the floral, I want that one down. And my F is the yellow, so I want that one up. And I'm gonna stitch these together to make four pairs. and all of these are getting pressed towards the four patch. So now I have my two parts. I have two of this section and four of this section, and I'll end up with two of these and four of the four put together. So I'll just take these two, I'll call these finished and put them aside. And then I have these two, and I'm going to stitch those together. And these, the seams are getting pressed down, so away from the strip and towards this direction. So I'm just gonna press, there we go. And with these last two presses, I have clue two done. So two of 10, that gets us, what, 20% of the way there already? But, and this is the first time this has happened, I have two of these extra pieces left over. And so I'm gonna do a quick double check. 
on the first page they tell us how many of each piece we need and yet I only needed two of these A pieces. So I was sent two extra. I'm gonna hang on to these just in case I need them for elsewhere in my project. But um, looks like I was sent two extra, which is way better than not having the fabric that I need, and that's okay. And I might send a e quick email to Cotton Cuts and let them know that I ended up with two extra, just in case someone else ended up with two short. They know where they went. But yeah, I have these pieces, my two two A's and my two two B's. And what I like to do is take my my monthly clue and just fold it in half and then tuck these pieces inside so they'll be easily identifiable when I get to clue 10. And I'm all set. Thanks so much for watching my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below and make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button because there's lots of great quilting content here and so much more coming your way. Thanks so much for watching my friends. I will see you right here real soon. Bye for now.